please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. What up, YouTube? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. Before I begin, you know what? Why do I need to say that? I don't need to say that at all. That's what the intro is for. Anyway, I'm so used to doing that now. But uh, shout out to Tiki TV because... I watched this video that I think was released last night, 44 minute video of him debating, uh, I think it was player's choice, debating another YouTuber over uh, who's the better duo, the better duo between Jokic and Jamal Murray and Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. So riddle me this, everyone, riddle me this. Uh, didn't we just see the Denver Nuggets win the finals about two months ago, two or three months ago now? Didn't we just see Jamal Murray and Jokic go through the Minnesota Timberwolves, which was easy work? They should have swept them, but they gave them one game. Didn't we see... Jokic and Jamal Murray go through the Suns. Then we just see them sweep the Lakers under the rug and pulverize the Heat in the finals. Now, to dig even deeper, didn't we just see a matchup between Jokic, Jamal Murray versus Kevin Durant and Devin Booker? And then we see Kevin Durant and Durant, uh, yeah, Kevin Durant and Devin Booker get chopped up like sushi at a Japanese bar. I do recall that Devin Booker pretty much carried Kevin Durant's old ass, but the debater that the the, the opposing person that Ticket TV was debating. Was of course uh, backing Katie and Devin Booker, trying to say they was the better duel, but I do recall them losing in horrific fashion. Right, I do remember the Denver Nuggets stringing Katie by his skinnies, punking his ass, knocking his ass down, making him look less of a guy like Katie likes to call himself. Did we just see that? Then we just said, see Devin Booker basically left below, I mean not left below, but left alone on an island with no help at all at that point. Then we just see the Denver Nuggets put 40, 30 points on the Phoenix Suns on game six in Phoenix, about, for me at least, about 20 minutes away from where I'm at right now. Hmm, it's funny how people forget. You know what was the best duel? I'm going to answer that question right now. And it's not recency bias like the guy that Ticket TV was de debating. Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic put on a clinic. Not just them two, but the rest of the team as well. But as dual wise, we see them put on a whole clinic throughout the whole entire place that led them and the Denver Nuggets to their first ring ever. They both can play off each other real well. Now, Jokic's defense ain't it's sustainable, I guess. Uh, but Jokic looked almost close to unstoppable against the Phoenix Suns. And Jamal Murray just added the the, the, the the knockout punch, as well as the other people in there. Oh, KD and Devin Booker were so great. Why haven't they won anything? Why hasn't KD won anything since he left Golden State? What does that tell you about KD? Oh, he's the most dynamic scorer of all time. Elite scorer of all time. That's true. That's true. That's true. But what has it led to when KD is not with Stephen Curry? 
What has it led to? Matter of fact, KD was probably with a better duo with Kyrie. But what did that lead to? Nothing. Nothing but shattered dreams and tainted legacies. Am I right? Yeah, I can keep bringing up uh, Kyrie's anger got sprained. But what happened with the Boston Celtics the next year after that? What happened? Please tell me what happened after the 2021 playoff run that they had. What happened in the 22 playoffs? Didn't they get string up? Both of them get string up by their skinnies by the Boston Celtics defense. Four games to zero. Man, man, oh man. I'm sorry for any KD fans out there, but uh, he, 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 it just ain't happening for him. He just can't lead a team to where they need to go. And everybody keeps saying, oh, he's not a leader. He's not a leader. He's not a leader. When is he going to become a leader and actually do something? Y'all can't keep him that excuse forever. Because I'm critiquing his not so much his play, but his legacy, the way it goes. And it's not looking great as far as being an all-time great and leading the team to a victory without having a stacked-ass team on you. But apparently he can't do that because he keeps stacking his team up. Well, Jokic and Jamal Murray play volleyball with them with ease. Not volleyball, I'm just joking around. But just play off of each other like a team. You can't really bring up that, oh, they didn't do anything before. Because KD really hasn't done anything before without Steph Curry. Yeah, he got to the finals with uh, Westbrook and Harden. But, bleh, bleh, lost. Jamal Murray, before this past season, didn't play for two seasons because he tore his ACL. And the last time he played before these two seasons, uh, what, what did the Denver Nuggets do? Oh, yeah. They went to the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, they did. I remember that. And the year before that, they got to the sem uh, conference semifinals as well. I think it was the 2018-2019 season. Totally with it. And both of these teams are totally different from each other. So, once Jamar Murray got back healthy again, he put on the run. KD and Devin Booker, nah, they ain't. They don't play no defense at all. They don't even try to play defense. I seen Jamal Murray out there playing defense. Jamal Murray hitting big shots. Forget all that freaking all oh, Jamal Devin Booker hit big shots. Devin Booker saying well he hadn't did anything. The last three years. Oh yeah, he got to the finals, but he got ran off the court in the reverse sweep by the Bucks. He got ran off the court by Luca. And he got ran off the court now by the that's the thing about freaking Devin Booker. He keep getting ran off the court by foreign players. Do you realize he got ran off the court by Four foreign players in the last three years. KD ain't no different either. Two out of three in the last three years that KD played, he got ran off the court by foreign players. What does that tell you about the American versus the foreign players as well? But anyways, I think this debate was too easy for Ticket TV. In the end, he did win because Jamal Murray and De uh, Nikola Jokic are the better duo. Not just because they recently won the ring, but... We saw with our own eyes what happened compared to what Kevin Durant and Devin Booker did. Kevin Durant is no longer in his prime. And I'm sorry, his legacy is not as great and not as bright as everybody thinks it is. Shoot, if we never went to Golden State, we ain't talking like this no more. But anyways, tell me what you guys think.